Oh boy, you see what I see? Look at here. See if you can see that. Looks like little spider webs. That's a sure sign of fungus. There's another one out there. I noticed this a few weeks ago. I should have treated, but a little lazy on me. You can see it coming in really bad here. See these brown spots? That's fungus. Whew. I'm eat up with it. Look at that there. That's really bad. This area here. There's some more here. It's been hard to see the sun's coming up. Coming up over the trees. So we're gonna treat this and do a double throw down two products. So let's head to the garage and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to treat the, all this fungus in my yard. Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. It's a beautiful, bright Friday afternoon. If you've seen my post on Instagram, you've probably seen a picture of this. I'm getting infected with some fungicide. Looks like dollar spot. Hope you can see that in this bright, sunny weather. But today I'm going to treat it. I just showed you what it looks like early in the morning. It looks like little spider webs on your yard. You know that it's growing and spreading when you see that on the yard. Gonna throw down two different products, two group fungicides, a group three and a group 11. So we'll head to the garage and check it out. Here we are just outside of the garage. First, I'm going to put down some Disease X. This is a group 11 fungicide. And the active ingredient in this is azoxystrobin. You see right here, 0.31%. Active ingredient, this is a 10 pound bag and it will cover feet up to 5,000 square feet. It's made by Spot. Great little product here. Watch this on Amazon. You can sometimes catch it for $5, sometimes $8. So you can get some really good deals on Amazon. And I'll include links to that in my, on my website for this particular video. It says right here, for preventative weight, we're gonna throw down two and one quarter on the setting. Of course, this is the Scott setting. Two pounds per thousand for a preventative rate. Curative weight, four pounds per 1,000. So we're gonna throw down this entire bag, 5,000 square feet. I got 4,300 square feet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this whole bag down. And it does not treat, if you look up here at the diseases that it controls, it, brown patch is your very first one, but it doesn't list dollar spot. And that's where the second fungicide comes in, it's group three fungicide, and it's called Topiconazole. 14.3 and it is a liquid they do make this in granular form i've used it before in the past this drug's a little pricey but it lasts a long time i mean i bought it last year used it a couple times and still have you know, over half the jug left and then i'm going to use my battery powered impro backpack sprayer and i have a t-jet so you can see that t-jet tip on the end of it little fan i'll include links to that that's my favorite t-jet tip and of course, you see my Impro spreader, if you've been watching my channel, great, great spreader. And we will throw this down in the front yard. And also I'll probably go ahead and put one whole bag on the backyard. It's 3,500 square feet. May save a little bit and put, put a little extra on the front yard since that's where I'm really infested with the uh, dollar spot fungus. So we'll load this up and we'll get spreading. One note on this product, the Scott's Disease X, it says here, water the treated area for 15 to 20 minutes after application if rainfall is not expected within 24 hours. I'm not expecting rainfall within, well, probably not until the middle of next week, which is about four or five days away. So I'm gonna go ahead and water this in for 15 minutes. I can do that. As you guys know, my water in this neighborhood where I live is outrageous. It's priced like gold. So, but I can afford 15 minutes on the front yard and in the small 3,500 square foot backyard. So I'll do that after I apply this.
guys I got the sprinkler on the front yard here and you can really see see the fungus right in here from it wet and it goes up and basically over that little area here right down the middle it's pretty bad so I'm gonna let the disease eggs water it in and we're gonna let it work its magic for a week and then I'm gonna come back with the uh, propaconazole probably next Friday, exactly one week. It's recommended to wait two weeks, but I'm going on vacation, so I'm just gonna wait one week. Thanks to Mr. Lush Long for pointing that out. He saw my post on Instagram, sh sent me a message, and said I really shouldn't apply both at the same time, the azoxy and the propaconazole, because you could you know, do some chemical damage to the lawn or to the blades of the Bermuda itself. So I'm just gonna wait. I believe I did that last year. I waited between applications. Actually, I alternated month by month but since i'm already infected pretty bad here i'm gonna go ahead and treat it with propaganazole in a week instead of waiting a month rotating between the disease x and the uh, propaganazole all right guys here we are a little over two weeks since i put down the azoxystrobin which is uh scott's disease x azoxystrobin is your active ingredient in it it's a group 11 if i remember correctly i'll put it down and surprisingly we've only had we've had less than two inches of rain the entire month of may in fact you look at my grass i've only cut it twice <laughs> that whole month and each time i cut the front and the back almost 8,000 square feet it wouldn't even fill up half of my hopper that's how slow the grass is growing it still has a nice green look to it it's got a green tint but you can see the the dollar spot that's formed in it i'll walk through here you can see it's real bad up through here See if I can get some close-ups of it. See that. Well, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna finish up the rotation of the group 11, and then now I'm gonna follow up with a, I believe it's a group three. And I'll put it down, and th it will clean up the dollar spot and cure it. But the dollar spot will stay there until we get some rain and we get some growth and I'm able to cut it off. So, and don't know when that'll happen. Hopefully it'll happen soon. We got some rain forecast into this week, a good bit, like four days up, up at 40%, but that's no guarantee that it will rain, but we'll just have to wait and see. That's what you have to deal with when you have no irrigation and and can't really run the water hoses over 27,000 square feet. And it costs an arm and a leg to, to, to do that, even just on 8,000 square feet. So just depending on the rain and we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm gonna spray my uh, propaganazole, the uh, group three fungicide. And I recommend, I guess, the lesson in this video is to make sure you rotate your fungicides. You don't want to put down disease X all summer because it, it doesn't treat for dollar spot. It's not even listed. So make sure you rotate group three, group 11, you know, different fungicide treatments, of different groups. So let me hook this up and I'll get on it and spray it real fast. In fact, I have it laying over here on the driveway since my little, my little portable table I like to use is taking up with a lot of flowers for right now so I did a video on this last year so I'll just refer to it I'll put a link up here in the corner on this I won't show mixing it and all that but this is what I'm going to be applying propaganazole 14.3 on this side and it says right here it's say group three
Okay guys, I'll put down a full coat of proper all. Yeah, 1.5 ounces, maybe a smidge over 1.5 ounces per 1,000 square feet to really try and cure up this dollar spot. As you can see, I'm really infested. I may wait a week and get some after video. If we get, if we get some good rain and actually I see some good growth in the grass, which I'm hoping for. But if not, then just follow me on Instagram. I'll put a little, you know, just search for Sunny Bermuda on Instagram. I'll put a little tag down here. And also, uh, <clears throat> watch my next upcoming videos. You'll be able to see progress on my yard. You'll be able to see the fungus growing out of it. Okay, guys, it's been exactly six days since I sprayed the propiconazole. And the fungus is nearly, I'd say, almost 90 to 100% gone. You can probably see. Let's see if we can find a spot here. Yeah, you can see here where it was. You can see the green coming back. We actually did get some rain. We got a couple of days of some good rain. So you can see it's starting to green up and really thicken up. Uh, let me show you the ditch that I did in my last video, the ditch renovation. It's looking really good. Still got some weeds dying and some of the, looks like St. Augustine dying. I did scalp it right there with my rider. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I came through with my rider and got that little top part. But, but overall, the fungus is looking really good. I do want to show you something. You remember from the last video, I sprayed the spectricide weed stop in the back and I cleaned out my backpack sprayer. I put, ran water through it and then I ran some tank, tank cleaner through it, then also some water again. But apparently I did not get it cleaned out because let me show you what happens when you get a little left in it. See if you can see this brown. Well, it's not really brown, it's just yellow. But the Bermuda took a hard hit from what was left in it. I guess when I started spraying the propaganazole, I started off here, went down that way. And I guess by the time I got to the end down here, it had cleaned itself out because the rest of it looks looks fairly fine. So I don't know, uh, maybe I should have rinsed it out a third time, but just want to show you guys to see, show that residue will stay in your tank and your sprayer lines. So be, be aware of that. So guys, we enjoyed, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, look forward to you in future videos. Make sure you hit that like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Do you, have you been battling fungus this year? If so, let me know what you're doing about it. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.